Hello, my name is Alex Carver. I'm a senior solutions engineer in Peer Storage, focused primarily on VMware products and integrations with them. Continuing on with VVols 101, let's go ahead and go over what is a storage policy. Now, storage policy is what you're creating when wanting to apply these different policies to specific VMs as part of our storage policy-based management. This is referred to as SPBM, storage policy-based management. So essentially this does is it takes the different capabilities that are being advertised through VASA to vCenter and allows users to go ahead and create policies based specifically off of these capabilities and then taking those policies and applying them at a VM or virtual disk level. So this allows the end user to be able to create policies for the specific array features that they need and the array capabilities that they need that at VASA is advertising and apply them at a VM granular level or a virtual disk granular level. So the applications and uh, VMs can have the SLAs and the array features that they were designed to have. Rather than just giving a single volume on the array and all VMs that are on that VMFS data store share the exact same way, I can now have a more granular control over what features are given at an application and virtual disk level. So how does this look? Well, VASA goes ahead and advertises those capabilities, whether that's something like local snapshots or replication. Um, or something that we've recently started reporting, QoS. And so this will allow end users to create a storage policy. So I'll create a storage policy based off of some of these capabilities and create what our rule sets essentially. So this storage policy, SP1, we'll go ahead and just say, hey, I want one hour snapshot protection. So it has one hour snap. And so now I take this policy and I go ahead and let's say I have VM1 and VM2. Well, I'm gonna just apply this whole policy to VM2, but with VM1, I actually only wanna apply this to one of the data VBALs. And so I'm only gonna apply it to virtual disk one. And so this allows you to take that storage policy that you created and either apply it at an individual virtual disk level or at a VM level. So all virtual disks in that VM will share it. And then that way, VMware then will periodically query the compliance of these ones. And so VMware will query to VASA, hey, is this policy on this VM in compliance? And so it does a query compliance check. Query compliance. And so we'll do this query compliance check to see, is this VM in compliance or is this VM not in compliance? And then VASA will report back, yes, this VM is compliant or nope, this VM is not compliant. And this will allow end user to know, are these um, VMs meeting their SLAs or are they able to have the features that we want them to have from storage or are they not? And so it allows the end user to have that granular control at the application VM level of those array features and capabilities being offered to them by the Boston provider.